to StuffAlacart.net. I am your host, Colin Gregory, and every week we'll be right here at Black Rose Antiques and Collectibles, located in the Phillipsburg Mall in New Jersey, showing you lots of stuff inside. I'm Colin Gregory with StuffAlacart.net, and it's almost time for, that's right, the holidays. And where should everybody go shopping on the holidays to find that unique special gift for their loved one and the family? I think we should go to Black Rose Antiques and Collectibles in the Phillipsburg Mall. That's right, Jazz. And there it's out with the new and in with the old. We are at the Black Rose in Philsburg at the Philsburg Mall, and I'm here with Tammy. And Tammy, thank you for joining us. Tell us about Black Rose because when we walk in the door, it's big. It is. And and how many square feet are here? Sixty-five thousand square feet we have here. We have 125 vendors with over 144 booths of a diverse mix of merchandise here. There's something for everyone here. Now you are here just about every day, right? I am. What is your position? I'm the store manager. You get to meet everybody. Uh, when you look around this store, what does it make you think of? I mean, it really literally has a lot in it and people can find just about anything they want for antiques and collectibles. Yes, they can. We have everything from atomizers to zoo animals and everything in between, something for every age. Uh, so when somebody comes here because it's large, uh, how do they navigate their way through the store? Yes, some people do find it a little confusing, but we have maps at both entrances. Uh, you can pick up a map, and that way you can see where you're going, or if you see something you like and want to come, be able to find it again. So the maps definitely help. And now, if somebody is watching this, uh, the store hours, like as we get close to Christmas, and well, right now it's Thanksgiving and Christmas, but what are the normal store hours? We are open seven days a week, 10 to 8, Monday through Saturday, and 12 to 5 on Sunday. And what's the best way to come in? Is it like, where, how do you tell people what entrance? How do they find you here? We have two entrances. We, of course, is the mall entrance, and we also have our very own entrance with a parking lot, very convenient parking, handicap accessible in the back of the store. Now, I know there's opportunities for others to have booths, but before we talk about that, what kind of things will people really find here? Because as I looked around, man, I, I, it just it seems to be, like you said, from everything to everything. Everything. Um, there's all different sorts of things that people collect. In fact, it's quite interesting seeing what people collect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, toys. Toys are very popular. The vintage toys right now. Primitives. Primitives are always popular. How about the deals? Are there good deals? There's very good deals. Yeah. So very if somebody's good. on a little bit of a budget for Christmas or they're looking for unique, one-of-a-kind things, you think you can find it here? Definitely. We have prices ranging from a dollar on up. You, you really can find. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. Okay, so somebody says, boy, you know, I'd like to have a booth there. How does that work? Well, they can. All they need is a New Jersey sales tax number and a bunch of antiques. And uh, they can lease a space here with us. You still have some available? We do have spaces available, yeah, yes. Somebody last minute saying, you know, I'd like to get in there before Christmas. Can I still get in? We could squeeze them in. Yes, we could. Okay. Mm -hmm. And are there, are there other Black, Ro Black Rose locations that people could visit as well? Yes, there are. Our flagship store, actually, Hanover, was opened just over 20 years ago now. And we also have Chambersburg, both in Pennsylvania. Very nice stores. You definitely want to take a ride out and visit those as well. Not, you know, in a final word, what do we want to leave people thinking? It definitely just come over. Even if you don't think you like antiques, I guarantee you there's something here that you will like. Definitely. Hi, I'm Colin Gregory, and I'm here with Susan Mitu, who I like to call the Aladdin Lady. She specializes in carpets, and I believe, Susan, this one right here in front of us flies, right? Yes, it does. I have a lot of flying carpets. And in addition, 
The main thing I do is Persian carpets at the Black Rose. Many of these are Iranian Persian carpets, and you can see the motif in the middle. And this is an 8 by 10 and here's another Persian carpet. I also deal with wool carpets. We have long runners for any of you that have long hallways. I happen to have a 20 foot runner wool and a 19 foot runner wool. And I'm actually going to get a new shipment on October 23rd and there will be about 17 new carpets in here for those of you that want to choose a color for your house. Now, why are, your, why are your carpets so special and unique? Well, first of all, they're Persians, so it's not a store-bought carpet. They last forever. They'll last an entire lifetime, and all you have to do is vacuum them, and that's it to keep them clean. And they lay flat, so they're not going to bunch up in a dining room or any place that you put it in a living room. And they make any room look gorgeous. If you get one Iranian carpet, you're going to get 20 for your house. I happen to have 13 in my house. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They are, they, and, and they are gorgeous. And I, I know from props how expensive rugs can be. And they're, they're regular, right? Most of them regular sizes? Well, if it's a true Persian, and these are, you're never going to have an exact size. So although I said this is an 8x10, it's really an 8x2x10x9. By 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 a Ooh. real Persian is never regular. Who would, who, nobody would know, really. <laughs> no, but it is helpful in your house because sometimes you have a spot in your house that you need one or two inches shorter than a regular carpet. And this is what the Iranian carpets are able to do. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the other stuff you have over in booth number two or three? Two. Booth, and, what's behind booth number two? Okay, in booth number two, I also deal with glassware and with artwork and with other interesting pieces. One of the things I have a pair of French horns and a hunting pitcher. I actually have three hunting pitchers up there. So any of you that are into the hunting, I also have um, a plate and a bowl. That's the signing of the Declaration of Independence. And I have quite a few art pieces. I have still lifes, still life with fruit, still life with, um, with a dark background and a beautiful, beautiful gold frames. And there is a large gold mirror back there too that looks like brand new, but it's actually very old. It's about 50 years old. That's, that, that's still, in today's standards, considered an antique. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, they used to say 100 years, and you were an antique. I'm an antique, so I'm, I'm close to 100. All right. I'm an antique, too. I'm a little bit older than an antique. And I also deal with furniture. I actually have a lovely pink Victorian sofa, and it's in perfect condition, and I actually deal with armoires. I actually have three in the booth right now. Um, wood, pine inside, some have paintings on it, so they're a little bit unique. Okay, so I hear you have a beautiful couch and some chairs too as well, comfy chairs. Yes, well as I told you, the, I have red leather chairs, a pair of them, and again that pink, if, for those of you that like pink, it's a nice pink sofa. There's nothing wrong with pink. Roger Federer has won a lot of matches in, his, in tennis and his favorite color is pink. Right. And I have a beautiful crystal punch ball that's in the showcase. I have a jewelry showcase and that, Ooh, Excellent for the holidays. Yes, and it's very unique in that all 12 glasses are there and it's actually on a crystal plate that spins and the ladle is crystal. So every single piece is there and it's in perfect condition for the holidays. So Sandra is behind you, your assistant there, she came today. There's, come on in, Sandra. Okay. I did yeah, want to mention yeah. something. Even though this is a great place to shop, it's also a great place to buy. And Sandy and I come here about three hours every week and we have bought many pieces from other sellers because it's, the place is just fabulous fabulous pieces from everyone. So again, although I sell, 
we buy, right? right? We buy a lot. Right, right. And you get the Tesla, right? Yes, right. yes. I have two pieces top. right now I bought right. here. So. so, what do we all want to say? We want to say, out with the new and in with, in the, with the old. old.
Okay, so here I am at Black Rose Antiques, and I'm with Two Live Antiques right here, and they have a booth, and who are you people, and what is the name of your booth? Well, I'm Jazz Holmstein, and this is my wife, Alice. Alice. Okay, glad to meet you too. Okay, so what is the name of your business? Our booth name is Stuff a la Carlin. If you remember, George Carlin did a great skit on stuff. We all have way too much stuff, and so that's what we have here at the uh, Black Rose Antiques in uh, Phillipsburg. Lots of stuff. Okay, so how long have you guys been in the antique business? How is you go? Uh, we've been in the antique okay. business about 10 years. Yeah, ten, yeah, I yeah. help him. It's okay. There you go. Well, you're, you're, I hope so. You're, you're married. You're married to him, right? Yes. <laughs> Even though he's an antique, right? Yes, he right. knows many things. Everything. So, tell me, okay, a, a little bit about the stuff that you, and that's what that's that's the word stuff, yeah. right? Let's define that word. What is stuff? Well, stuff is everything. It can be anything from a real antique all the way to antiques, antiquities, collectibles, stuff that's repurposed, things that you have in your home that was grandma's or grandpa's, uh, things that we need to pass down to have a heritage, a feeling, a soul to, uh, that we can pass down to our children or other friends who come in and buy, uh, and they can carry on the tradition of this old stuff we have all over America that's really worth keeping. As you see, the stained glass lamp behind us, or a crystal glass, furniture, ice cream makers, uh, old wine presses, old furniture, it all gets repurposed and reused. We always find a new way to you know, collect and use this stuff in our lives. And, and of course, we mentioned, uh, we mentioned uh, crystal glass and everything, and I think of the pinging of the glass to see if it's crystal or not. But Alice, that, would, that would make a great mother's day is coming up soon, right? Exactly, absolutely. <laughs> Remember mom. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Mom would love a crystal vase with some flowers. That would be a wonderful gift for mom. There's plenty of it here at the Black Rose. So tell me a little bit more about the Black Rose and the, and the vendors as such. Okay, I, I hear there's like 150 boots here or more or less or it's filling up right it's filling up quite rapidly black rose as you probably remember has uh, two other businesses in the middle of pennsylvania this is their third store and they opened up january 1st of this year 197 uh, uh, sorry 19 <laughs> i'm sure you i'm an antique <laughs> 2017 uh and they opened january 1st with 60 vendors we're up to about 130 now and uh, they will close out at 200 vendors here at the uh, Black Rose in Phillipsburg. What is considered an antique now? I mean, now it's, it's, it's not always 100 years old, right? No, it's not always 100 years old, but uh, the true antiques, there's not a lot of them, really. Uh, I mean, there's only so many. Not, there's not a lot. There's only so many, but there's a lot of collectibles out there, things that people cherish that have a, a, a personal meaning to them or their family, and that's what people like to collect and carry on the tradition of. So listen, it was nice talking to you too, and I, I, I wish you much success with your stuff, okay? Thank you. And, and And here's to stuff a la Carlin and stuff a la carte, and, and to the business in, gen in general, and Black Rose Antiques too, which just opened up here at the Phillipsburg Mall. Thank okay. you, Carlin. Thank okay, you. all right, okay.
Hey everybody, I'm Colin Gregory with StuffAlacart.net, and it's almost time for, that's right, the holidays. And where should everybody go shopping on the holidays to find that unique special gift for their loved one and the family? I think we should go to Black Rose Antiques and Collectibles in the Phillipsburg Mall. That's right, Jazz. And there it's out with the new and in with the old. Oh.